can see I'm packaging and getting ready to ship this to a client for my huge Amazon return palette that we got from Dollars. For the past two weeks, we've been, we've been going to the post office every day, shipping and um, sales are very good. I think we break even on the stuff we import. Uh, most of our sales come from Facebook market and eBay and Porsche market. But also meetups has been very good. So <clears throat> a majority of our sales have been through Facebook market. So he's been meeting up with a lot of people. And so, yeah, we've been doing pretty well. And as he kind of just mentioned that we are breaking even with our first two liquidation orders. Um, first order, first video posted under this playlist um, was boxes, we had three boxes. And our second um, shipment, liquidation shipment, was a pallet of push, um, shelf pulls. And so in combination of what we spent with shipping and the actual merchandise, we are breaking even as of right now. So that means any sales after this point is pure profit. Yeah. And that we've been doing this for three weeks. So that's awesome. Um, and we are about to receive a... Another four boxes from Amazon Returns should be coming in tomorrow. We know, I mean... We looked at the manifest. We kind of get an idea of what we're to expect. However, of course, we don't know the qu uh, the quality of it. Hopefully, it's, it's good because you know we we did find some great stuff in the first box and also not so great stuff in there. And that was the first box was re Amazon return. Yes. Yeah. So. But the self pull ones, everything is great. And, you know, we've been you know selling a lot of stuff yeah, on the shelf. We've been busy. For yeah. Sure. So we're gonna trying to keep up, make at least. You know, talk to y'all and show y'all videos of what we're doing and stuff like that. We right now about to ship two packages to. Oh. So right now we're about to ship, getting ready to package uh, two items to clients, and we have this. Thank you for being a customer, and here's a free gift. Gift, and it's a sticker and a pop, pop case. Piece. And, you know, so and to have a. Uh, Rich Break Resellers on there. So, if you order something from us, you might get a surprise in the mail with your package. So, we're off to the post office. Luckily, we live fairly close to the post office. It's probably about a two-minute drive. Yeah. Um, so we have a fairly quick turnaround. You place an order, and we'll get it out the next day. Right? Yeah, we ship it out as soon as you place an order. So we got a good, you don't have to wait until you get the first stone. Just make sure you receive it and you use it. Yeah, your free gifts inside as well. Um, one thing that we bought this week um, was a thermal printer that will ship four by six um, sticker labels for shipping. And Lord, that was unnecessary. Um, the drama. first one we got, we got from Walmart. And when you Google search 4x6 shipping label printer, thermal printer, or whatever keywords, um, this Dynamo, was it 450 comes up? And so we're thinking, oh, okay. It showed up in the results. It was like one of the first or second things that show up. Um, so we went ahead and ordered it. It was a good price. I think 99 or 89 or something like that. Came with just a, a return label for like an envelope. It's not like a shipping label. Yeah, it was like for like a regular standard size letters, like not for shipping packages. 
Um, so he returned that to Walmart. And then we did another Google search. And we ordered one from, I think, eBay. eBay, yes. Well, like me. This one, the size is right. Yeah, kind of like Goldilocks like right now. Like, like that. <clears throat> yeah, so it, it would have worked with the rolls of that we had. However, we're a Mac family. Yeah, as you can see, Apple. So it did not work on our computers. And we cannot figure out a way to get this um, thermal printer to work on our Mac. Um, they sh show that you could download it um, from other websites, the program, the software, whatever, but we were not successful. So that ended up getting returned. That one was 105. Um, and then I reached out to a friend and she um, had a, a one that she's not using and she dropped it off at the house. Yeah, it was a Dymo X XL. XL, 4XL. So it XL. works with the 4x6 and it's compatible with Mac. But we thought like you just plug it in, print that. And yeah, like, just send on. send the PDFs no. straight to the printer and that was a headache itself. It took like two hours or three hours. We're going to do a, shoot, a video on that, how to help people out that are having the same issue. Yeah, like, it's Talking bad about the Dino. But it, it is, I mean... I don't mind the I, steps. I think the steps, it would be nicer if what it was, what we initially was trying to do. Just plug it in and send a printer and then it'll print. But that's not how it how it worked. Um, but he wants to show a video on how to do it. I'll let him do it. Haha, <laughs> as if he needs my permission. But anyway, so he'll probably upload a video um, later showing y'all how we figured out how to use the dyno. And y'all could probably still teach us something because we could still be doing it wrong. I mean, yeah, we we just downloaded the software less than 24 hours ago, so we figured out. I don't know if it's the right way, but we figured out a way to make it work for to us. To work for us, yeah. So for Facebook, um, eBay, and Porsche Mark, so yeah. So we just it works our method. So, so we are. We've had more lights than usual, but we are at the post office, and Malik is about to Nobody's here. drop off That's what I like. two of the packages that um, we got in between yesterday and the last time that we were here. So. to do these um, update follow-up videos more often. Thanks. Bye. Peace.